Hi guys and welcome back to Ridge Reviews. So this is the second in a series of videos documenting my ownership of my 1997 911 Carrera S. Today we're going to talk about how I care for my 911 Carrera S with regards to keeping it in show condition all year round, washing, drying and spot detailing. and welcome back to Rich Reviews. So today we're going to wash the 993, the 911 993. This is my classic car. Uh, you'll have already seen some videos about this car. If not, then you will see them in the near future. So we're washing the car. It's just come back from having a lot of upgrades performed, um, mainly their RS brakes, RS uprights, a new short shift kit, which has been imported from America, and some other bits and pieces like new braided um, brake pipes, etc., etc., to actually install the RS brakes. I'd normally be using a two bucket technique for washing the car, but this car is actually covered in full PPF film, Suntec Ultra film, so there's no need to take a real extra precautions regarding washing it. So I'm going to be using the single bucket technique, but I will be using the brick guard. Um, the two bucket technique, if you want to know what that is, then Google's your friend. As I say, this is fully protected in PPF film, fully covered, so I'm never actually touching the paint anymore. It's fully detailed before the PPF film was put on. I'll put a um, video up with regards to the work that was performed when it was detailed and PPF. So I'm going to be using a single bucket technique. First of all, I'll be rinsing the car down. I won't be using a pressure jet washer. You should never use a pressure jet washer, especially on an old car, because you push moisture underneath the paint. That's the last thing you want to do. So I'll be using normal, normal mains pressure from a normal hose with a bit of a sprinkler on there so I'll be wetting the car down first of all then I'll be using a mild detergent which is a proper car wash detergent as I say mild even though it's PPF film you don't want to use a harsh detergent on a car and then I'll be drying the car down afterwards it'll look very fastidious because it's an old classic car it's a garage queen you have to be very careful you have to make sure you dry absolutely everything I'm going to be very careful with regards to the wheels the wheels haven't actually been ceramic coated so they are actually bare polished at the moment so I have to be very careful when you get water on the wheels they tarnish very easily so any water that gets on there I'll have to dry it off fairly quickly. A technique that I use here to stop the water when I'm actually wetting the car down to stop the water actually mainly getting on the wheels I use this technique of using these actual canvas green waste bags to protect the, the wheels from any moisture. It uh, protects the wheels mostly from any water getting on them and it makes it a lot easier when you come to cleaning them. I've only got I've only got two available at the moment, the other two are filled up with green waste. Wear this side of the car down first of all, then I'll transfer the green bags over to the other side and then I'll wash them down. And I know this sounds very fastidious, but this is what it's like and this is part of the ownership when you have a garage queen like this. So, wash the car down, give it a rinse down, mild detergent soap. As you can see, looking at the wheels, unfortunately we weren't very successful in keeping the wheels dry, so we've got to get that moisture off the wheels very quickly, so that's the first thing we've got to do. As you can see also, a property of the Suntec Ultra PPF film is hydrophobic, which means it prevents 
water from staying still it helps to wick water so you can see the water's pooled already because that's a property of the actual protection film it hasn't got a ceramic coating on it that's just a natural property of the Sante Ultra film so the cloth I'm going to use on the car is this is called a drying towel so it's a thick weave proper drying towel to dry the car I know it sounds a bit pedantic but that's what you've got to use to properly dry a car obviously it's very absorbent so it absorbs water and these are the cloths that I use which in effect are very soft lint free cloths especially made for the purpose to actually dry the wheels down to get the moisture out of the wheels they're obviously quite dirty you don't want hyper clean cloths they get ruined when you touch them on the wheels even though the wheels are clean the tarnish will come off and you'll never get it totally out of the cloths first of all I'm going to dry off the wheels Again, being very pedantic, you have to lift the wing up, which you can do manually. Well, it's, it's electronic, obviously, but you've got to switch inside the car that you can do that lifts up the rear wing. You have to get inside all these areas with a with the cloth to dry it, and within all these areas at the back, and also within all this section, all the webbing, and of course all the grill. Dry it all off properly, and then sometimes what I'll do as well. Because we live in a very hard water area, unfortunately what that means is fortunately the mineral deposits in the water, salt and uh, various other minerals that make the water very hard, leave stains on, on the car. So what I end up doing is I try and um, use a, a wet cloth, the towel that I use to dry off the car. I'll damp that down a bit and try and get off any, any remaining damp spots and, and any remaining mineral spots that are on the car, any, any mineral stains. Um, but often what I'll have to do is then get some of the detailing spray that I use when the car's only been out for a short run that gets bugs off the car etc. So I'll use this just to spray and get rid of any actual mineral stains that are on the car. And it's got some Canuba wax in the spray as well so it adds a, obviously a, it tops up the finish on top of the hydrophobic film. Because remember I'm not actually touching the paint of the car, it's the hydrophobic Suntec Ultra. PPF that I'm naturally touching. I'm never touching the paintwork of the car. So you see the car out with PPF, you do it properly, you never have to worry about the paint again. So that's it, the car's finished now. Taking it out for a little run as well, literally just up the road. And what that does is it displaces any water that's around the wheels and around any internal body part areas, pulls the water out, so then you can dry off those areas. Take it up the road just enough not to get the car dirty, but just to displace the water so then you can dry off those areas. And again, I do realize this sounds very pedantic, but that's what you've got to do with a garage queen and this type of car. That's how you keep it in this sort of condition all year round. It's very hard, but that's what it is, that's what it takes. And if you look around the wheels, you can see the wheels are spotless, all been cleaned and all dried off. And that's been possible without using any polish, just making sure that the wheels are dried as soon as they're wet. Okay, so that's the end of this video. Hope you've enjoyed. If you have, then please make sure you like the video. And if you're not subscribed, then please subscribe and tell your aunt, your grandfather, your uncle, your brother, your sister, their dogs, their cats, anybody. Thanks very much for watching and see you in the next video.